The movie's called Perfect Plan, dated 2010, because there are other movies with the same name that are in different years. I found it on um, Amazon Prime. I think you can also find it on YouTube. It starts with two women that open up a real estate uh, business together. A very handsome, uh, suave and debonair, rich looking man uh, speaks with the two women and says he has a an estate, a mansion, a huge house that he wants to sell that he had inherited. And he said he wants whoever sells it to have an exclusive. In other words, he does not want it on the multiple listing service. Back and forth, he wants to sell it through her. He's flirting with her a little bit. She's like, I'm taken, but later on, she's not, whatever. And uh, finally, he agrees to let them be the sellers of the house. One thing that made me very suspicious in the beginning of the movie was when he met her and took her to where the house was, he looked at it like he was seeing it for the first time. A buyer comes along offering cash for the house. A little bit lower than the asking price, but still enough to make a nice profit, which the, quote, seller accepts. Before the seller can close, he needs his sister to be there to sign the papers with him, the co-owner. So she comes into town, and let me tell you, the picture I used, the stock picture, is a lot more respectable looking than the... um the quote sister or who, you know, what the sister looks like in the movie. She kind of looks like a gangster lady, but the night before the closing, they take the two, uh, the two partners out for a night of dancing and having fun and everything uh, with the excitement that they're closing the next day. Meanwhile, in the newspaper is a story about a grown man and woman, a brother and sister that have gone missing. After celebrating their huge windfall commission, unfortunately, they find out that the man and his sister who sold the house were not the actual owners. They were imposters. The realtors learn that the missing siblings had a brother who was looking for them. Uh, he was not named as to be in future owner of the house, but he was upset when they turned up dead. Guess who they were murdered by? The estate's groundkeeper was also murdered earlier in the film. Our main character actually ends up teaming up with the surviving brother to track down those scammers. Meanwhile, the other real estate partner went after the fake sister I put together this video in such a way that you could either listen to it and not have to look at the screen or watch the screen in silence, if you must, without having to hear any of the sound. That way, either way, you get the story. There were more deaths later on in the movie, but you'll have to watch the movie to find out who. It's no fun if I tell the whole thing, right? See you next time, folks. Love you. Bye-bye.